the Indonesian archipelago is the longest archipelago in the world, almost 4,000 miles from Sumatra to New Guinea. Every time I go to this part of the world, I always get excited. The boat that I work on is a Pinisi boat built in South Sulawesi. We have converted it into a nice cabins for passengers to have a comfortable journey. It's like you have a floating hotel that you sleep there and then you wake up, have breakfast and start diving or snorkeling. Plus the beauty of it is that we are using this traditional boat that we can actually sail like the old sailors have done many centuries ago. Raja Ampat is a place where you can get lost in nature. The reason this place is so unique and special is because it's not easy to reach in the first place. You can come here and not seeing any other boats or any other tourists and just be completely on your own. Raja Ampat is full of adventure, above the water, below the water, and not to mention the kind-hearted, wonderful people that live in this area. I love to see people going like, wow, look at this. And then the moment they go in the water and see all this beauty of the underwater, they are flabbergasted. Some of them, um, they come back to the dinghy or come back on board, they just like cannot speak for a few minutes. Being in the open, in the nature, that makes me feel very, very happy. I'm the luckiest man in the world. And now I have a son, which is like my copy. When he was two and a half, I took him to the sea and teach him how to snorkel. And maybe he would be a dive master or a dive instructor one day. Raja Ampat for me is a never ending exploration. I need like a 200 years to explore this whole area or 300. <laughs>